Spectacular from WOZA and Honey Baked Ham. Yum. Yeah, five minutes after eight o'clock. If you uh, want to get your name in the running for the uh, the the prize from Honey Baked Ham that that Dan was just talking about in that advertisement, uh, call right now seven three two eight thousand. That's the office line. There's nobody at that phone, so you'll have to let it roll over to the answering machine, and we'll pick one name on Friday from the shiny blue box. Yep. Uh, we'll pe- we'll pick that name at uh, during Fun with Joe, which is about eleven forty, eleven forty five in the morning, mm-hmm. just before noon, and that one person will have a Super Bowl party package, package party. I mean, party <laughs> yeah. Party. Yeah, party. A lot party. of fun. Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. I'm sure he's got his plans for the Super Bowl. Um, good morning, Galen. How you doing? Hey, good morning, Larry Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. You know, every we, I know you know this because you've done radio. When you when you're doing radio, you watch the clock as it ticks down because then you know it's time to go on the air. And I, and I, it's it's interesting how you have three seconds left, and you say, "Gosh, did they do the? Did they did they mention the phone number?" And in three seconds, there's the phone number. In the last three seconds, you can do it. Just think about if if your life had a countdown clock, right? Mm-hmm. It does. It does, but you can't see it. <laughs> no, we just don't know what it is. But if you could see your own countdown clock, right? Uh-huh. You're the last three seconds. I love you. Bye. <laughs> 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 Not to make fun of death, but yeah, but it's true. The last three seconds. I love you. <laughs> yeah, then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> then you're done. Yeah. Yeah, that's important to me. To See you on the other side. Children, I love them. See you on the other side. Mm-hmm. Hope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's up there <laughs> and not down there. Talk about life. Exactly. Galen, you have something coming up called Five Points of Life. Sure do. Yeah, this Saturday, um, you know, it's a kids marathon, and uh, we're really excited about it. And uh, I think we're expecting a little over 200 kids to uh, 1.2 miles. Should be a great time at CF. You just don't know how much you influence people. I mean, all of us, we don't know. Exactly. But, I mean, that one event right there influences so many young people in one swoop. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yes, it does. I mean, yeah. it, I, I wonder how many, have you ever had, like, feedback from the kids who've, you know, done it a few years now? How many years have you done this now? Well, I mean, the first one in, in Gainesville was... 10 years ago. 10 years. Wow. So you might have, let's say, somebody who's 20 now, who did it when they were 10, Mm -hmm. who says, you know, I I never really ran until that day, and I started running ever since. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I I don't know if we have that, but we've had kids who have run the kids marathon, the 5K, the half K, or the half marathon, and then even the full marathon. So, we, we, you know, I have met, you know, kids at the time. He said the first time I ran in any event, was at the kids' marathon, right? Yeah, that's what I'm so, trying. Yeah, to say. I mean, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that's pretty cool because, uh, again, we're hoping that um, they're fit and healthy for the rest of their life, and uh, therefore they're more eligible, more likely to be eligible to give blood. The uh, the event, by the way, for our friends in other media, is a really good photo op. I mean, you get some really good shots of, of the kids and, and, and the spirit of the event. And the only reason I mention that is because I think if all of us in the media help out anybody doing like what Galen is doing to help, you know, do good things for other people, yes, th- then uh, any publicity at all, it, it won't serve this event on Saturday, but it'll serve next time they do it. Other people will hear about it. Right, it grows, doesn't it? Grow each year, uh, absolutely. More people, yeah. yeah. You know, and again, it's it's for us at this level. It's it's really about how can we get more and more schools involved, and how can we help spread the word, and and that's really where the media comes in and, and really makes an impact. Right, right. Uh, right. It's it's fantastic, absolutely. Yeah. So if uh, if you uh, have an, a, a child who might want to participate, um, Galen will tell you how to do that. If you're in the media, just go show up at the event. It'll help the next time they do it. Uh, it's a, it's a ama- and even if you're like an amateur media person, I mean, the fa- mm-hmm. Facebook is amateur media. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, it we is. do this all the time. We I mean, we do this professional media, but we do our videos, which is amateur. Yeah. We post them up, and somebody says, "You know, I saw your video of a strawberry festival." Let's say, mm-hmm. and that's sure. that's why I went the next year, whatever. So. Yeah, exactly. It makes it nice. So, how do you um, enter? What's five points of life dot org? Uh, yeah, that's one location, or you can also just show up the day of the event um, and and do <coughs> registration there if you haven't done it in advance. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the best way. It's just to show up the day of. At CF, um, we're going to run at nine. So if you get there at about eight, eight thirty, 
you'll be good to go. Do you still need nice. sponsors? Um, it's a little late, but we could always use sponsors because of the, the Five Points of Life is a foundation for for lifestyle, and uh, we're always looking for um, you know sponsors and money and funding for these things. Because again, we charge nothing for the kids for the kids, uh, and uh, um, except for the day of, just because you know we. That way, everybody signs up in advance. Right, and, right. Yeah, it's absolutely free. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty excited about it. It's usually pretty busy. How many kids do you normally participate? Uh, we'll have a little over 200 this year in the one in Ocala. Wow. Nice. And everybody gets a T-shirt and medals, and that's just so marvelous. Yep. All right, sure so, do. So I have, fun, I have kind of a fun topic for you today. Um, it, it stems from a conversation I had yesterday with a cousin of mine who I hadn't spoken to in decades, <laughs> Liter- literally decades. But anyway, I'm glad you had a good good time. Good but anyway, um, how's the blood supply right now? Uh, we're we're okay. We're we're continuing to make up some ground. We just need people to continue to get out there, give to get the blood, and donate blood. And uh, we need to thank two sponsors, and those sponsors are Pen Flooring at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Go to the showroom and see what you can do for your own home or office by remodeling your home from the floor up. They've got some beautiful choices and expertise as far as how to uh, install it and take care of it. And Palm Garden of Ocala Health and Rehabilitation Center, they have an outstanding um, staff there with... uh, Gosh, they will take care of your loved one or you if you need it, whether it's long-term skilled nursing, uh, rehabilitative care. Maybe you've gone through surgery and you want a place to rehabilitate that's got professionals mm-hmm. all around you all the time, not to mention good food. It, uh, Chef Wendy is fabulous over there. She's and amazing. Also respite care for the for the caregiver if you need a little break. Yeah. Uh, give them a call to find out more, 854 6262 <laughs> By the way, Kathy just wrote to me and said that the phone number is not going over to the answer machine again. So okay. if you've been trying to get your name in the thing, I apologize. I don't know. I don't I'm know. What's, we'll reboot I, it again. Phones used, to, phones used to be more reliable than they are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's so one thing that's changed. They, I think phones are not as good as they once were. Yeah. They're, they're good in that you can have them in your car, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? With, yeah. Without much problem, but other than that. Well, when we're on break and you hear the commercials playing, I will answer the phone. So you guys can make up your entries, All right, too, so, and then I'll check it out. So, Galen, yesterday I was talking to a cousin in New York, and she's never left Long Island, and I could really hear the accent. And I said to myself, oh, my gosh, did I talk like that at one time? And now people still tell me I have a New York accent, but I guarantee you it's not as strong as hers. Oh, gosh. Right? You heard her. I yes, had her on speakerphone, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. She sounds so charming. So she had this story that she remembered from when she was a little girl, and back in those days my family lived in the Bronx, and I was too young to even remember that. But she remembers my father saying to her, there was a dining needle in the backyard. And, the, and she, he, she said that he said to her, the dining needle will sew up your mouth if you keep talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it sounds like something my father would say. But the word dining needle, I see, oh my gosh, that's what we used to call what we now call dragonflies. Mm-hmm. That must have been a regional thing. And I looked it up, and sure enough, it was. Oh, gosh. And I know you've heard me say it before, but, Gail, have you ever heard of a dragonfly called a dining needle? No, I haven't. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So it is regional, then, like you It said. is regional, and, yeah. I, don't, and I, th- I think... So I, I was curious about other regional kind of really quirky things, like mm-hmm. Wisconsin, for example. They call... Yes. Um, <laughs> They call uh, water fountains bubblers. Yes. And it's like the only place in the country that does that. <laughs> That's because they were actually bubblers. They would bubble how, up from the bottom. But you see, Galen, bubbling. you see how Robin defends it? <laughs> <laughs> see how she does it? Okay. Yeah. So, so here's, the, here's the fun part about this. Okay, I have here um, a, a thing. Business Insider Magazine did a, an actual report on this showing a whole map of the different places we say different things. So here's the question. Ready? I'm ready. What do you call, Robin and, and Galen, what do you call the miniature lobster that you find in lakes and streams, for example, a crustacean, uh, you might even see it in the <laughs> in the Chinese restaurant. Mm-hmm. What do you call that thing? Uh, you talk about a crawfish? Yes. Robin, what do you a call rock it? Lobster? Lobster? What? Rock uh, lobster? Rock call- lobster? Rock lobster is a type of lobster. <laughs> Robin calls it a rock lobster. All right. Okay, uh, those are not- big. Oh, those are big. Oh, okay. The choices are crawfish, crayfish, or crawdad. Or crawdad, yeah. Craw- crawfish, crayfish, or crawdad. But you say you call it a crawfish, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So what I'll eat it? them all. I'll eat them all. I don't know. I don't, care. I don't, I don't know what I'll I call it. I probably call it a crawdaddy from watching the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> crawdaddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember seeing them ever. They must be good because people pile them on their plates, and so I just haven't. Alan likes it. Talk to all right. Them. What do you call the little square candy that's soft and brown? <laughs> and it, it is spelled. Caramel? What, what do you call it? Caramel. Robin, what do you call it? Caramel. See, there's a big difference. Caramel and caramel. Yeah, we called it caramel, like caramel apples. And yeah, I think I was a caramel guy, too. I think I called it caramel. Oh, I caramel. thought you could not caramel, huh? But I think Galen is saying it right, because if you look at the spelling, C-A-R-A-M-E-L, caramel. Yeah, right. I think that should be the right one. I think we say it caramel right. Caramel means you're dropping an A. All right, what do you, how do you say uh, the word bin? Like, I've been to the store. I've been. Ben. B E N like like one yeah. E, yeah. Well, two E's. Oh, it's spelled two e. Ben, but I pronounce it Ben. <laughs> I've been to the store. How do you pronounce it? Ben. Ben. Uh, people either say Ben, Ben, or Bean. I been to the store. I, I've been. That sounds like well, a, Bean is what got an A in it. So that's, that's, a, cool. that's a British way. Yeah, but British people say that. Yeah. I, I've oh. I've been to the store. That doesn't count. Yes. That doesn't count. Okay. Well, what about New England? Not that's, the, that's not in the U.S. Um, <laughs> New England is. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know anybody in New England who said that. What do you call uh, the knife that it has the name of David Bowie? <laughs> is, it, is it a... A Bowie knife. A Bowie knife? Galen, what do you call it? Bowie knife? No, okay. Nobody says Bowie knife, huh? I don't. Know. Some, some people say Bowie. Okay. Oh, I've not heard that. Like Jim Bowie. Jim Bowie, yeah. Yeah, Bowie knife, Jim Bowie, yeah. You call, oh, you do say Bowie. I say Bowie, a, a Bowie knife, but it's Bowie, Jim Bowie. <laughs> it's funny. Good morning, you're on the air. Yeah, yeah in, in the circus world, it's either a calliope or a calliope. A calliope? It's the same. I've never heard the calliope word before. Yeah, yeah. Well, in Wisconsin, uh, that, they, that's what they call it in Wisconsin. Uh, it, it's a, it's a, at the end of a circus parade back in the old days. It was a, a large musical instrument. Either call it a calliope or a calliope. Oh, I, <laughs> I know what a calliope is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for telling me. But but what happens? What happens after the the calliope player gets thirsty? Where does he go to get water? It, they, they, the people along the sideline that are watching go buy a of beer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, forget that bubbler thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the more the more beer, the better the music. Exactly. The more beer, the better the music. Yeah. yeah I have to remember that. That's good. That's good to know. Thank you, Hugh. All right. What do you, what do you call the uh, the product that the Crayola company makes? Crayons. Robin. A crayon. See, it's slightly different. Crayon. Yeah. And Ga Galen, Galen says, says crayon. crayon. What do you say? Crayon. I, I, I'm crayon. with Galen you on that say. one. Oh, okay. There's an O in it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I call yeah. it crayon. What's the L word that, that is uh, a synonym for attorney? Lawyer. Robin? Lawyer. Same thing. Yeah, we all three say it the same way. Some people call it a... a Liar. A lawyer. A lawyer instead of a lawyer. It's very, very, lawyer. very subtle difference. Lawyer, law, law, lawyer, 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 lawyer. <laughs> uh, do you call? Do you ever call coleslaw just slaw? Yeah. Robin. I don't. I always say coleslaw. Coleslaw. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's well. The there's only one kind of. There's only one kind of slaw, and it's always cold. It's like ice that. hockey. See, Galen is very strong. See how you defended the bubbler? Yes. Galen is defending the slaw and yes. the ice hockey. <laughs> Remember the ice hockey conversation? Yeah. <laughs> it's not the National Ice Hockey League. That's right. <laughs> Shannon well, went last night to the Lightning game. She has fun with her friends. <laughs> they get a box. <laughs> so there's no apple slaw, is what you're saying? Applesauce. No. Apple slaw. And there's no, no. broccoli slaw. I don't know. Thing? There might be. Oh. Coleslaw. Okay. Just coleslaw. Right, right. But you order a slaw dog, oh. you don't put the word coal in front of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's uh, weird. Do you know who I learned about the coleslaw? The slaw dog from? Who? Steve Water. Really? Yeah. Was it a southern thing? The Galen, is dog? it a Florida thing? He's from Florida. You're from Florida. Uh, it's a southern thing. A I, I don't know thing. if it, it, it's not all Florida. Florida creates very few things. <laughs> they, they get them from other places. I love bugs. 
No, I mean, food-wise, I really do. Oh. I mean, it's... Yeah. We got heart of palm down here. And oh, here's one. Boy, now, now you give me a challenge. What do you call the the product that Hellman's makes? What do you call that? Mayonnaise. Robin? Mayonnaise. I think you said it the mayonnaise. same. May- mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> How do you mayonnaise. say Mayonnaise. I, I, I say mayonnaise, but some people say mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. They forget or the, mayonnaise. the syllable. Man, mayonnaise. like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise. By the way, Hooters is going to start hiring men, Galen. Say that again? Hooters is going to start hiring men as servers. Sure. Yeah. Why not? They're going I mean, to be. They co- just don't look as good. There's nothing to. they exactly. Nothing redeeming about it, but right. okay. Good. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm waiting they don't to see make what nearly the tips. <laughs> well, I'm waiting to see what outfits they wear. Robin's looking forward to it. She's, I know. They're calling them hoots. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. What do you wear? The clothing you wear to bed. What do you call that clothing? <laughs> pajamas. Pajamas. Sounds Not the pajamas. same. Pajamas. What do you say? I say pajamas, but some people oh. say pajamas. Oh yeah, pajamas. get your pajamas on. Oh, I think I said that up north. <clears throat> pajamas. Get your pajamas on. Oh. Yeah, I did. It was pajamas. Oh, see, you've, you've growing been, up, it was your pajamas. accent has been softened like everybody yeah. else's. Okay, uh, here's one that comes up all the time: the 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 carbonated beverage that you might buy from the Coca Cola company is called what? Generically, a Coke. <laughs> Coke. What if it was Pepsi? Oh, what, soda. What if it was ginger ale? What would you call it? Soda. Soda. Yeah. Gannon, what do you call it? Ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> What do you call it? Like a soft drink I, or something? Soda. Yeah, I call it soda. Soda. Some people call it pop. Some people pop. call it Coke, no matter yeah. what it is. Yeah, pop. Yeah, pop. <laughs> Kayla calls yeah, it I had some, ginger ale. Yeah, people up north in Wisconsin, they called it pop, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what do you call that thing in the middle of the road on Fort King that you have to drive around? What do you call that thing? Mediums? Roundabouts. Roundabout, I yeah. I hate those. Kayla, what yeah. do you call it? Roundabouts. A roundabout. roundabout. Well, see, I learned about the roundabout here in Florida, so I don't know what it's called in New York. I avoid that road. Now. I don't remember I don't seeing it. That side. Some people call it a traffic circle. Some people call it a rotary. Traffic yeah. circle would be bigger, I think. Wouldn't it be bigger, a traffic circle? I mean, these are tiny over there, but they're so annoying. What's the first, how do you pronounce the word um, of the sweet stuff you put on pancakes? Syrup. Syrup. Oh, you could both say it differently. What do you say? Syrup. Oh, I say syrup. And Galen says syrup. 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 Yeah. yeah, I say syrup. See, there's no wrong. There's nothing wrong with any of this stuff. No. Oh, and the next one is the one I'm we talked about. The next one we talked about this morning. The sand the long sandwich that you can get at Publix because they're really, really good. Yes, they are. <laughs> Everybody calls them subs now, but I think that's because of Subway. Because mm-hmm. when I was a kid in New York, we called them heroes. But when I was in New York with Alex, everybody called them subs. Mm-hmm. So I think that that has changed. What do you call it, Galen? A sub? Well, I, I, it's always been a sub. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's always been called. Well, Galen's of that of uh, Galen is of that generation when their subways were here. Right. So he's always yeah, growing up with a sub. Good morning. You're on the air. Hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. About those uh, roundabouts. Yeah, uh, I never saw a roundabout when I was growing up, but uh, in the town I was living in as a teenager, they had a big old circle uh, in the road that kind of went under a freeway bridge, and it was a large one, and they called, everybody called it the circle, so... <laughs> just called the circle. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was just called the circle, and it was big, you know, it was like, it was large, it had like four or five roads coming into it. Well, at least five, maybe six roads coming into it as you went around it. Huh. And it had a statue of the founder of the town in the middle of it, just below, just beside that bridge that went over it. It was uh, humongous compared to these little roundabouts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that would be a circle. Yeah. You know, actually, there is one in New York, that, this Columbus circle. circle. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, okay, bye-bye. Just a circle. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. So that, that would be... 
Hey, traffic. Hi, this is Kathy. I have neighbors that are primarily from New England, specifically Connecticut, uh-huh. and they call a subway sandwich a grinder. I had yeah. never heard of that before. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I was born in Michigan, and I remember darning needle too. But I thought it was a smaller insect than a dragonfly. I, I thought that too, and I think it is. But we. Uh huh. But according to the. The internet. It's uh, it's the same thing as a. Well, there's the ex- expert right there. Right, hey. right, right. right. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, a That's grinder. That's my thought for the moment. All righty. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, now when I go visit TJ, I'll have to order a grinder then. <laughs> but you see how she said she's a darning needle, not dining. Yeah. Needle. I know that's a difference. Yeah, too. so that's pretty neat. <clears throat> All that's right. Uh, cool. What do you call sneakers? Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> tennis Rob, shoes. You call them tennis shoes? Okay. Yeah. Some people call them tenny poos. Tenny poos? Yeah. Uh, Sneakers. Let's see. Uh, Not serious. I mean, it's a, kind of a joke or something, right? What do you call I-75? What is it? What kind of a road is it? Highway. Just, An highway. Interstate. The interstate. The interstate. The highway, yeah. You don't call yeah, it a free, freeway. Are, no. Yeah, I mean, I would know what you were talking about. Right, right, right. Just... But I mean, just if you were talking, you take the take the interstate. That's what I would say, the interstate. Yeah, but up up in Wisconsin, up up in Milwaukee, I said, you know, we would say, well, we're going we're going on the freeway or the expressway. All right, here's the last one. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is still shining? Rain shower, sun shower. Sun shower, Robin. What did you call? Yeah, it? sun shower. Sun shower. What did you call it? A sun shower. Oh. But there are two states, Alabama and Mississippi, that call it the devil is beating his wife. Really? <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you're from Alabama or Mississippi, I have to hear. Is this true? Oh, the, my I've been in Alabama during the sun shower, and I've never heard that. You've uh, never heard somebody say the devil is beating his wife? No. No. Well, when are you going up there again? A uh, couple of weeks, probably. Good. If it starts raining and the sun is out, hey, the devil's beating his wife. <laughs> well, I mean, I talk to people from Alabama every day. Okay. So I will ask them. You, oh, good. Will good. you ask somebody today? Uh, yeah. Make sure they're not a transplant. They have to actually be born there. Correct, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good morning. You're on the air. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Uh, Larry Robin McGillan. Hey, Doug is from Alabama, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no. Ah, hey, Doug. Uh, I heard you saying something about the diamond needles. Yeah. Well, I actually also we call them snake doctors. Snake doctors. Now, see yeah. this, this, I see this things you learn every day, right? Exactly. I never knew that one. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate the uh, the the input on the on the topic here. All right. Uh, oh, let me take one more. Maybe somebody's from Alabama. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, Robin. Hi, Larry. This is Bishop Jackson. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Bishop. How are you? I'm fantastic. In New York, uh, what happened was when I was growing up, a lot of my family was from the Carolinas, Uh and that's what they used to say when the sun was out and it was raining. They they told me as a kid, you know, the devil is beating his wife right now. (laughs) (laughs) So when you said that, I was hysterical because I, I was afraid to admit that to anyone else. But I'm glad someone else said it. <laughs> that was a great thing. Is that hysterical or what? I'm that like, is funny. I'm, kid, I'm looking in the sky. I'm waiting to see the devil with a pitchfork and a pointed tail. <laughs> and it's the crap we out of her when the sun is shining. I'm gonna, there was no correlation whatsoever. But nevertheless, that was what was said. <laughs> Have a great day. There you go. Thank you, Bill. There's a proof right there. Yes. I'm glad somebody had, had that remembrance. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, the... Um, where is the blood mobile today? Yeah, hey, uh, the blood mobile today, Larry, is actually at South Ocala Elementary School. So, uh, oh, nice. I'm really excited about being there, and uh, we're ready. Uh, I think it'll be fun. Yeah, the teachers all right. and Thank- the students always step up. Thank you for what you do, Galen, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, you guys are the best. Don't, Thanks, for- don't forget when you speak to somebody from Alabama to bring it up about the devil. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We'll be right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Fox 
Fox News Radio. I'm Dave Anthony. President Trump has made his Supreme Court pick. I am keeping another promise to the American people by nominating Judge Neil Gorsuch. An appeals court judge in Denver tapped to replace the late Antonin Scalia. Well, I'll tell you, I think Judge Gorsuch is, is a home run. Republican Senator Ted Cruz, Democratic Senator Chris Kuhn says... We ought to give uh, Judge Gorsuch exactly the sort of thorough and full hearing on the Senate Judiciary Committee uh, that D.C. Circuit Chief Judge Merrick Garland never got. Others are suggesting a filibuster. The Senate's expected today to confirm Rex Tillerson as Secretary of State and a committee may vote to advance Jeff Sessions for Attorney General the day after his vote was blocked. We're being asked to vote on a nominee that will have to stand up to a president who is clearly willing to ignore the law. That's Democrat Dianne Feinstein. Fox News. We report. You decide.